AI. Some services require that your uh, documents uh, get to PDFA compliance, means that they are perfectly suitable for archiving, uh, generating the PDF, make sure none of the items that are not suitable for archiving or not cannot last for a longer period um, are not in there, all funds are in there. So uh, yeah, it's a compliance uh, statement of uh, the ISO norms and yeah, that's what you might need. So in that case, you can very easily do that, configure that with a PDF Butler. Okay, I'm gonna go to my quote doc config. I'm gonna open up the editor. And it just takes like two clicks to actually uh, set up the PDFA compliance. So if you just click this one and then save to server, so this one indicates that you wanna get a PDFA compliance PDF document. So let's save that. Okay, done. Now, if I go back to my opportunity and I will generate this document, one second, yeah, it's loaded. So I generate the document. Normally it also downloads and it's in this download. If I open it in Adobe and you can, I will show you on this screen, say it immediately says that this uh, uh, file is PDFA compliant. So, or it claims to be PDFA compliant, but you can run it through any tester, any, uh, any check validation system on the internet. It is a perfectly PDFA compliant document. So that's how easy it is to reach that compliance if you might need it.